Welcome back, everybody. Well, Juno award-winning indie pop band Walk Off the Earth have been keeping very busy throughout the pandemic, craving new music and a really, really fun side project. Check it out. Here we go, buddy. Oh, the big piece. We've extracted a bunch of pieces, and we are going to test this thing out. You ready? I'm ready, Dad. Let's do it. This piece looks the most yellow. All right, everyone, here we go. Jackfruit, first time ever. Cheers. Bonapetito. Bonapetito. Johnny Luminati, Sarah Blackwood, and their four-year-old son, Romeo, join us now from their studio in Dundas, Ontario. Welcome! Thanks for having us. Say listen, thanks, buddy. What a beautiful Hi. family you have. Hi, everybody. Uh, listen, we've got so many questions to get to, and we just saw a clip from your super, super sweet food discovery series, Romeo Eats. Listen, guys, what inspired um, this show to happen, and how did it all come together? Well, since the day that Romeo started eating actual food, we noticed that his palate was very broad. He was willing to try everything and anything. He's very much like Johnny. Johnny loves food. He loves trying things that are interesting that people don't normally eat or don't know about. And they kind of just connected in that way. They're food soulmates. And from there, we decided to start live streaming, eating, uh, you know, different food, fruits and vegetables. And people absolutely loved watching Romeo eat these things. It inspired them to try them. It inspired their kids to try them. And they kept writing us saying, what's Romeo going to eat next? Uh, when's the next, you know, Romeo Eats thing going to happen? They just started calling him Romeo Eats, and it just kind of all happened so naturally. And so we decided once we were taken off the road two and a half, two years ago, that we would put some time into creating a show where we showcase Romeo's love for food. So that's why, that's how we're here. <laughs> well, clearly, you know, it's the food, but also Romeo, who's such a natural in front of the camera. Did that surprise you? And, you know, you mentioned people were asking, more Romeo, more Romeo. Did it surprise you that he developed this following so quickly? Um, a little bit. I mean, he's, he's a pretty uh, intense character. So uh, we, uh, we knew that he was, um, just had a big personality and uh, you know the fans the walk up the earth fans noticed that right away and and they just really were inspired by his his uh, insatiable love for all things tasty and um, that's kind of just happened organically Romeo can I ask you a question yeah <laughs> hey what's your favorite food to eat um The stinky food. Stinky, the stinky food. food. <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. He's referring to durian fruit. He really loves durian fruit. Um, it's the world's stinkiest fruit, and he likes it a lot, so we have to deal with the smell in our house a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is impressive because, you know, I know people who grew up in East Asia who aren't familiar, who aren't down with durian. So, you know, and it seems like if he's down with dur durian, he's basically up for trying anything. But is there something? that doesn't pass the Romeo test? Something he's tried and he's like, no thanks. Uh, honestly, the only thing that we've ever given him that he said no to right off the bat was one of those uh, bunny wrap, chocolate bunny suckers that people get at Easter. <laughs> <laughs> That is a the sophisticated thing all other, palette. All the, the thing that all other yeah. kids are completely addicted to, for sure, for sure. Well, He's listen, being a, an, um, yeah, exactly. Uh, well, listen, your multi-platinum award-winning band. Um, obviously, you had to include some pretty amazing music in Romeo Eats. Tell us about that part of the project and how the music came to be in this project. I mean, everything we do, we like to put um, a lot of production into and. It just, we, one, we originally didn't plan on putting music in the show, we just were making the show, and then we had the, the great idea of, of writing um, music for the show. Um, depending on what the fruit or vegetable was, or food, we would write a song about that food, we'd get all the information about it. And it was just a really fun experience for us to get outside the box of our regular writing pattern and just write in different genres and, and use goofy words that we would never put in a normal pop song. 
and that's kind of how it happened. And all, and this whole project just happened naturally, and every time there was a, a new conversation, we would just be like, "Oh, we should do this. All right, we're doing that." So, we, uh, you know, we made the music for it, and l luckily we did because now uh, we have a Juno nomination for it. So, very well, happy. yeah, Romeo Eats Volume One is up for Juno Award for Children's Album of the Year, which means that Romeo is the youngest Juno Award nominee ever. Romeo, are you excited to go to the big party? for the party yeah yes oh. <laughs> he's growing yeah. is going to the party <laughs> yes yes yeah i think he's really enjoying himself on camera yeah and i am here for it <laughs> i'm here for it um unbelievably you guys have already filmed three seasons of romeo eats and there's also romeo dines so that's got romeo visiting really high-end restaurants for multiple course meals <laughs> reminding our viewers he's four shot a lot of this when he was three any other spin-offs in the works um, I, we think so. Uh, he's really obsessed with growing tomatoes, so we may have a series called uh, Romeo Grows. Uh, maybe Romeo Cooks one day. He, he really likes cooking as well. So, yeah, there's lots of opportunities to expand uh, expand his palate, for lack of a better term. I personally would love a show called <laughs> Romeo Cooks for Mama Gourmet <laughs> for the rest of her life. <laughs> That's Sarah's goal in this whole project, yes. Well, l let's kind of get a little teaser for that, because before you go, you're going to show us how to make one of your favorite summer treats, tropical dairy-free ice cream. Let's see. Of course, yeah. So this is a very easy recipe. Um, sometimes it's hard to get kids to eat certain things, so we uh, thought maybe making, for the other boys in our house, maybe making a tropical ice cream. Um, dairy-free, because Romeo doesn't do great with dairy, so we have uh, coconut milk, Put that in, buddy. Okay. Dump it in here. Okay. And one thing about uh, getting your kids to eat food, people always ask us, how do you get kids to eat food? In my experience, involving them in the creation of the food or the pre preparation of the food gets them really excited. And there's things that our kids will never eat, but if they help cook it, then they'll eat it. So that's something you can try at home. A little bit of honey, put a little bit of honey in. And then last night we froze uh, a bunch of fruit. So we have some strawberries, some bananas, and um, some kiwi. dragon fruit, kiwi, and you just toss that in there. Very simple. And then you just put it on here, put the lid on. <laughs> we already had some today. <laughs> Start it, buddy. Start it up. I have two treats. Oh, you want to put some radish in too? Yeah. Oh, radish. Yeah, so there, there and there's go. another trick for parents if they want to add some more vitamins and stuff. You can s sneak in some things that they would never eat, like this radish, even though he likes it. Have a bite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. And uh, press the button, buddy. Then how about all of the other things? Oh, uh, we don't need them right now. Press the button. <laughs> they love pressing the button, too. There we go. Oh, that looks yeah, really good. Up seconds and then you have yourself some beautiful tropical ice cream with a touch of radish Ooh. oh I, I i want some of that romeo well done everybody thank you so much it's been so great chatting with all of you today and be sure to check out romeoeats.com for all of their fun videos and walk off the earth is on tour this summer don't go anywhere we'll be right back thank you uh, bye